Donald Trump. We are sick and tired of you. We have no fear. You will not intimidate us. We're coming right at you, and we're saying to you, we're saying to you that the I have no fear. I'm in this fight. And I know that there are those who are talking about censuring me, talking about kicking me out of Congress, talking about shooting me, talking about hanging me. All I have to say is this. If you shoot me, you better shoot straight. There's nothing like a wounded animal. to make whatever sacrifices needed to be made. I am not about to let this country go by the way of Donald Trump. How dare you? How dare you take the babies from mother's arms? How dare you take the children and send them all across the country into so-called detention centers? You are putting them in cages. You're putting them in jails, and you think we're going to stand by and allow you to do that? I don't think so. <laughs> Donald Trump, you think you can get away with everything, but you have gone too far when you are trying to break up families in the way that you do. I don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican. I don't care what nationality you are. I don't care what ethnic group you are. We all love the children, and we're going to stand by them. Some of us know the history of those who have separated children from their parents. As an African-American woman, I was raised on the stories about what happened on the auction block when they auctioned off Africans. They took the fathers and they sent them one place. They took the mothers and they sent them another place. They took the children, the boys, to work in the farms and to work in the fields and the girls to work on domestic matters in the big house. Well, we overcame that. We fought against that. We marched, we fought, and we won, and we're going to win again. Today I say, Donald Trump, this is not your country to do with whatever you want to do. This country belongs to all of us. We are America. We are America. We are America.